and welcome to another CAD Swift video. In this episode we're going to be demonstrating our infinite note tool for ARCHICAD. This tool is an all-in-one drawing note box as well as an object label tool as well as a key note tool. Let's have a look at how it works. The tool has the capacity to reference 16 different databases of specific construction notes. These databases are broken up into groups. Each group can have an infinite number of notes. You can add and subtract notes as you please, and you can also nominate which notes are actually relevant to the project. Each note within the database also contains 16 individual parts. Hence, you can have a very detailed structure to your note that can include a code, a brief note, a description, and any sort of other information that you want to put in there to use in your plans. The benefit of having these 16 different parts is that you can choose which part is present on which plan using our intelligent model view options control. As you can see here, we've selected which elements we want to turn on and off. Let's just turn them all on. Now you can see the notes become fully detailed. What I'll do now is I'll populate this object with a series of typical notes and then I'll save them into certain catalogues and then I'll show you how you can reference these catalogues on other projects. With Infinite Note, you can also insert new notes between existing notes in case you forgot one or just need to add more later on. And of course, you can remove those notes too. You may have also noticed that there's this handy spacing bar at the top to allow you to see all the note. If you start to run out of room on the page, you can actually go to the page of that note group and expand it a little. I have chosen to use some of the values of these 16 points of a note as spacing elements. However, you can assign each of the 16 parts of this note as you choose. Remember, to make sure that these notes are available for use within this project, you need to check the boxes. Once you have established your notes for this group, this group I am calling Site, you can then upload it to the catalogue, simply by clicking this Upload button. You then download it so that it's available within this menu, and here it is. If I now select that element, it'll lock this configuration. However, it leaves the selection of the notes applicable to this project unlocked. We can now go in and create our next group. As you can see, once you have selected and named a group, the group obtains that name. Here we'll demonstrate the benefits of having a brief note and a more detailed note. We'll just reduce this a little bit so we can see them all. And make sure we include our spacing characters. As you could imagine, it could take quite some time to establish all your standard notes in this system. Fortunately, the databases are XML, therefore we're able to import your typical notes into this system very efficiently for you. Let's upload this one to the database and then we'll go have a look at it in another project. Firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to nominate several of these that we want to use in this project. And then we'll go have a look at the three types of representation. 
Down in this last panel, you see you can access all selected notes, a specific note group, or a specific note. We have already placed all three, so let's go have a look. Here is our instance with all the selected notes. We can put a box around this and we can obviously stretch this box to encompass the complete note. Here we have access to a specific note group, so we can go into this note and we can nominate the group which we want to use. First, we have to reinstate all the data in this object. We simply do that by hitting the download button. Now we can come in here and we can find those note groups. Site and wall framing. Now, within our element selection, we can nominate between those two groups. We'll leave it on site for now, and here you'll see we have all the site notes. The final version is the individual note. We can now select this tool, make sure we've also downloaded all the latest databases, select site for this group, and wall framing for this group, and then, within our individual note selection, will have access to the notes within that group, so long as they've been checked. So let's just choose this first note here, click OK. Now we can use our model view options to determine what elements we actually see in these notes. Go to model view options. In this instance, we've got the first note is the code, then we've got a space character, then we've got our note, another space character, and then the detailed note. So let's turn off the detailed note and the final space character and have a look at the result. Hence, you can change the result based on the drawing type you have set in model view options. Now what we want to do is we want to ensure that we have all this data accessible through other projects. So let's open another project, select our label tool, find infinite notes, open our configuration, ensure we have downloaded all the latest databases, and now we'll see that we have those specific groups available within our notes. Set those groups, and now we can access them either through our specific notes, through our all selected note groups, or through a specific note group. Let's go into those notes and see how we want to apply them in this project. Open up site, tick all the boxes for the elements that we want to use, go to our wall framing, nominate the ones that are relevant to this project, and then using the representation, choose how we want to apply these notes. As this uses the label tool, we have all the settings of the typical label. So we can go in our pointer, turn it on, apply the colors here, and we can also modify our annotation text and coloring within this tool. This, however, will also be specific to our graphic overrides. Now, as you can see, we've got certain things selected here within our model view options that are limiting the information in this object. So we can go into our model view options and check on the relevant boxes. One important fact to note is that within each group you have access to multiple databases. So while we've saved the site and the wall framing into separate databases, these elements could be saved within the one database or the group could be chosen to access various databases. So at the moment we have our site data in group 1 database and we have our wall framing data in the group 2 database. We can go into either of these components and select different databases so that we can add different groups into different sections within the tool. You can also create your own individual databases and name them separately and provide access to those databases from within this tool. So the flexibility within the databases, what groups are stored in there, where the databases are stored and how they are named is also infinite. And that is Infinite Notes for ARCHICAD. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you look forward to using this very powerful note tool.